I'm going to wrap up the tunnel project now by showing you the scene. Here it is. All right. And I'm going to show you some images and a little bit of how I do my post processing. So I'm done the modeling. Um, there's always more stuff that I would like to do, but I have other projects I need to move on. And so uh, what I've done is I put some speakers up on the wall, put a pipe over here. I've got a cutaway in the floor with some pipes and wires. I've got uh, some door here. And basically the story is that uh, this is an underground tunnel and this train brings some sort of privileged guests into this luxury shopping mall or hotel or something through these doors. All right, so uh, yeah, and I got some lights up there and uh, I did a cutaway in here to fit this stuff a little bit better and that kind of stuff. And so I wanted to show you how I often create my images. In terms of lighting, let me just tell you, and I'm gonna show you the render soon so you'll, you'll see this better. I've just got emissions. I've got some lights along the top. Those are just emissions. I've got some point lights here and there. Uh, in general, the point lights are usually an off-white kind of color. This one happens to be so almost a purple color. Um, this one, similar. This one here is a more yellowish one. So I just put point lights here and there and play around with them until I, I like it. Sometimes I'll put area lights and that kind of thing. So here is the, the way that I often will do uh, an image. All right, so I've got my, let's say I like that position. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that stuff off. I'm going to control plus to maximize. And let's say that's that's the angle that I, I want to do my thing at. I'm gonna I'm gonna click here viewport display give it a moment to load up all of the textures okay so now you can generally see what's going on with the with the tunnel so let's say that's the scene that I I want there all right so what I'm gonna do here is I'm not even gonna render I'm gonna take a screenshot so I'm gonna print screen and I'm gonna come over to GIMP I'm going to control V to paste that in and I'm going to cut this out the way that I want it. There we go. No. Nope. So let's say I'm just going to go for that whole section right there. Okay, so that's that's what I want for my image. So First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a an unsharp mask filter, and I'm going to use a preset that I tend to use, and it's just a little bit of sharpening. Then I'm going to come up to color balance, and depending on the mood that I'm going for, in this case I'm going to knock the I'm going to go a little bit more to the cyan, a little bit more to the yellow, and I'm going to press OK. Then I'm going to come to the curves. And I'm going to bring the, the highs up a little bit and the, the darks down. And OK. Now I'm going to save this or export it. I'll just put it on the desktop and I'll call this train or something. And export. All right, I'm done in GIMP. I'll minimize that. Now, I have some software called Topaz Studio 2. This is really for photography, but I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna to come to my desktop and I'm gonna open this. All right, so I tend to use this for, you know, if I'm taking photos of the kids or when I was into bird photography or whatever, but I've discovered that it's kind of cool for these images as well. So there's the screenshot. All right, you see some shadows. They're not high quality, but it looks kind of like a game. Which I, I prefer anyhow, or it looks like it's put in a game engine a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, right? All right, so over here you've got looks and filters. Uh, these are sort of like, like uh, LUTs. I'm going to click here, and for this, I'm going to choose dramatic and dramatic HDRI, HDR, and I'm going to lower that to about a little under halfway. Already that's looking kind of cool. I'm going to add another look and I'm going to choose bold. 
I'm going to choose this liquid color too. Now, when I first put it on at 100%, it's pretty pretty intense. So I'm going to bring that down to about a quarter. It just smooths it out, gives it kind of a artistic look. There's two. I'm going to do one more. Dreamy, this blueberry one. That's pretty neat. And just have a little bit of that. And then it's done. I'm going to export that. And I don't know if I'm going to do another one. So we have the original and we have the one that I just did. So I'm going to open that up. I guess I'll do it this way. Train Studio. And there it is. And that's that's the effect. Rather than a straightforward sort of uh, bland render, uh, these games and things are probably almost always post-processed or at least in the game engine you know you're going to be playing with shaders and lighting so there's no reason to have to stick with just a render from blender you can do some of this kind of stuff in the compositor but i would prefer to do it this way all right so that's basically what the image looks like and that's the main image you can see those lights up here and around here i've got the glowing keypad here and i've got some glowing here and I've got some glowing there and of course I've got a green light underneath there just because I wanted to get a you know another another major color uh, in there because it was very grayish blue otherwise all right so that's how I do that and so now I'm going to show you just what I've got as uh, as images now these were actually rendered and then brought in to that software so there's a hundred percent all right, and you can see the doors there, and the cart and the train and all the all the gizmos here. All right, so there's one. Because I didn't do the entire train, just to see the lights on the side and the windows, you don't really see them very well. Um, because of that, there's 100%. Um, I, I didn't want, only certain angles would work really for this but uh, there's a hundred percent from that point of view uh, just for the fun of it some different angles uh, there's a hundred percent there's the train and you know there's always things that I would like to fix up stuff that I can see that I hope you don't necessarily notice so I won't say anything right now and all of these were uh, done the same way. Now that's 100%, so I'm not sure what the deal is with that one, why that one. I guess that's a screenshot. Some of these might be screenshots versus, yeah. All right, anyhow. So the textures uh, were done in Substance Painter. Um, some of them were created new and some of them were uh, rehashed from other projects uh, let me just go back to one that's a little brighter let's look at that for a moment um, you saw me I guess model this stuff uh, I think I did some the texturing for some of these things uh, maybe I basically just didn't do the texture for the walls which is, is a tile and uh, the concrete and putting the stripes on and any other patterns I have you didn't see me make this a metallic floor but I've done that before in other videos you didn't see me texture the train uh, or the doors uh, it was quite a job to uh, unwrap and uh, do all of this but um, this is what it's uh, turned out to be so if you have any questions feel free to ask me otherwise this was a lot of fun it was a lot of work and I need to call it done uh, I want to move on to some smaller projects and I also have some uh, larger scenes that I want to do and I'm going to show you that in the next couple of days what uh, what I'm going to work on next. So thank you very much for coming to the Tunnel Project and uh, we'll see you again soon.